welcome to another episode of the Archiveship Project. Thank you for joining me. And in this episode, I'm going to talk a bit about when people are uh, in a lot of pain from what's known as the slip disc or lumbar lesion. Um, I get lots of questions. I get more questions about this, guys, than almost anything else. Lumbar lesions, slip discs, the pain to all those people who've got it now and have found this video. I hope this video can cast some light upon certain things for you and help you um, overcome your predicament. I hope I can cast some light on it. I know you're in a lot of pain and my heart goes out to you guys. Um, for a start, if you want natural painkillers, cat's claw and white willow, okay? Cat's claw and white willow four times a day if you want natural painkillers. Boom! Off the fucking planet. With that said, let's move on. Because I know a lot of you are already on the painkillers. I'm speaking from experience and also... Um, one of the most important things here is, guys, I know you're in a lot of pain, okay? I won't repeat that anymore. Uh, one of the most important things is you've got to ask yourself is why? So, in answer to why you've done a lumbar lesion, because you've been one way or another putting a lot of stress through probably a set of hips that's not active, okay? Uh, may I say, from this is where actual training comes in because if this is not active and the muscles that move it if, the, if you can imagine guys imagine all the muscles on here imagine the muscles that bring about the movement if the hips are not active and you never use your hips and train your hips that means because because of your spine the main support for the upper body is running through the hips You've got an enormous weakening coming in in the hip structure because, like you've just admitted to yourself, like I had to at one point, oh my god, I've got weak hips. I never train my hips. And again, we've got something positive now, haven't we, to move from. So, if you're already on the floor and you're in a lot of pain, um, do try and I know it's a hard place to, it's a, it's a mighty painful place to be. And I like to just say while I'm on the subject, because there's so much to say about this. Um, it's because, right, um, but if you've got a slip disc, what you've done, you've got done a lumbar lesion, you've popped, you've got the gel, the gel support, the vertebrae are full of gel, it's a supportive system and it's reactive to exercise, so when people say, oh no, I need to my back, it lubricates the back, so. and this place in particular, the hips when they're non-active, you can imagine the hips on someone, they're non-active, and the back that's non-active, um, it's a recipe for disaster in it, and some people, um, it's a very painful one, so you've got to ask yourself why, once you've answered that question, which I've just answered for you, right, um, that'll, that's something to be looked into, because you can't have a lifetime. The doctor's going to tell you, that, oh, you've got to go out to my auntie, and you'll have to live with it. Mm -mm. Not true, see, not true. You know, you can recover from it. You'll recover from it when you line all this up and get it active. So that's not true. Don't let somebody tell you, Ooh, sciatica, I've got a lifetime of pain. You hear people that you know in the shop, Ooh, he's changed me drugs and fucking sorry. You know, you're so far away, mate. You know, don't have a lifetime of bloody drugs, but don't let some guy tell you you've got sciatica for life, because it's just not true. In 99% of the cases, it's not true. Okay? You can alter that. Like I just said to you guys, it's because this wasn't active. When this is all active, this will never happen again. 
and you'll be a lot wiser and you'll look freaking fantastic. So look at it, although you're in a lot of pain, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> be positive and see what the positive will bring out of it. It could bring you a freaking, it should bring you a new body, ladies or gentlemen, because the sum of the means, like I say, here. Uh, other aspects, yeah, why is there so much pain? Because, like I've said, it's smacking from the central nervous system, and without that, you're in trouble, ain't you? We see people, don't we, when that gets actually severed, and they have major problems, they're paraplegics, aren't they? And um, then they have more things to overcome mentally as well, don't they? So, if you compare some people as well, guys, another way to do it, you know, look, guys, you can overcome it, okay? I did, but I had a neighbour who'd done it um, last summer, and I knew immediately what he'd done, I could tell by the way he was walking. And a year later, you know, he was on his drugs and he was wondering why nothing was getting in, and I said, to him, Keith, you don't train, you don't mobilise this area, you're just left in fear that only <laughs> chiropractors, physios and doctors can touch your friggin' back, you never touch your own back, you never get to know, this is yours guys, guys, this is yours, okay, get to know it, get to know it because it wants to know you and then, you ain't going to have such you can, oh, the camera can't pick it up, but I'm actually on me. I don't know if you can see that, guys, but you can see here where the bulge is. Right, I'm actually, that would be the sciatic nerve. Here's the central nervous system just behind here. That would be the sciatic nerve coming through, see, into the glute and running down the back of the leg. The longest nerve in the body, I do believe, sciatic, okay? You hear people say, didn't you? Oh, I've had sciatica for years. That's because somebody told them that. <laughs> you know, don't let anybody tell you that. Look at me. I ride racing bikes and squat. You know, it's, I don't squat mega weights, you know, but I do, I do more now than I did then, precisely. That's how it should be. You should be doing more after than you ever did when you had that. Um, some people go around in a circle and the pain just does not teach them a lesson. Some people make, in my opinion, some people make the biggest mistake of their life and get talked into an operation. Now, how, how much should I talk about this, guys? You know, some surgeon wants 50 grand to operate on your back. He wants to pin the discs together. So, oh, then just forget about it. I have, met, I have met many, many people who have had this done. It's unsuccessful. Unsuccessful. This, the vertebrae, has to move. Now, it doesn't move a lot, but it's the way it moves when we move, guys. Honestly, don't ever let anyone pin this and promise you the world and everything again with my neighbour. I was talking to him, I was saying to him, look, all the people I know have had that done, it's been unsuccessful. And surgeons are notorious for talking you into things. I'm not saying they can't save your life either. I'm saying, I said they make their living. But, you know, you can overcome this without spending a penny. But, you've got to start activating it. An important point I'd like to finish on, guys, because I've been going on for a long time, is a group of muscles that run up the middle of the spine. They're called the rectus spinae, right? And you can actually see them, guys, down here. Lumbar, remember. We're at lumbar, okay? Five. The lower five. And, um... The erector spinae, either side of the spine, again, run all the way up. But you can actually see them here on fit young men. See there? See? 
and they're here. But they do run all the way up and they run across the spinous processes. Okay, and keep them upright. It looks like, well, anyway, I've known people, this, when you immediately, when you do your injury, by the way, the, one of these will contract. Now, it could be the left side, or it could be the right side of the erector spinae, and it will contract. And what you should be doing, you should be reaching round to see which one has contracted on you. And that will tell you where your bulge is, which side of the body your bulge is. Now, you'll know which side of the body the bulge is, right, if you've got sciatica, okay? So the sciatica will tell you that the bulge is touching the left sciatic or the right sciatic nerve that run down your legs. So what the body does to protect it, again, because the body is sensing damage by the lower spine on, down here in the lumbar, right? Uh, let's say L2, for this to blow out, um, some um, physiotherapists and some chiropractors um, work on people and trying to pull this off. Um, guys, if you've just, you know, if you just think you've done this injury or done a disc, and I hope this video finds you, do not let, guys, do not let people, physios on the NHS, do not let private physios or chiropractors pull this contraction off in your lower back. Your body is contracting it to keep you in less pain. Don't let somebody manipulate you guys and put you in more pain, particularly somebody who hasn't seen your scan.